Even in the year 3000, the question will be, what's for dinner? Commercials are as much a part of our popular culture as movies and television. Perhaps because the best commercials provide the same kind of entertainment. This is the story of the making of the commercial called Brilliance. An extraordinary look at a very ordinary product. Created by Ketchum Advertising, it was produced by Robert Abel and Associates. I thought we wanted to do something that was so image-oriented and so striking that you kind of dispelled all the rumors about cans that you know. And we came up with a presenter who we like to call HM and a rather simple board of eight frames to tell a very simple story of what's for dinner. When we saw this board, uh, I said, we've got to do this board because, and, and at the same time I'm saying this, I'm scared because I don't know if we can do the board. So this, you know, this is a classic story of a commercial that can't and shouldn't be made. But it's like the little engine that could, and we're going to do it. Well, people have a preconceived idea of what computer <clears throat> commercials look like, and this is going to break out of all of those molds. I mean, it's a real step. It's a quantum leap as far as commercials. Uh, the reason we chose Randy Roberts to direct this thing was that Randy has done so much work that we always thought was impossible, and he always proved us wrong. Yeah, it's this kind of detail, this you know, early space vehicle. Yeah, because it kicks light up well. And that's another thing we'll have to experiment with, is, is the way some of these surfaces are affected by light. The first step was to translate that two-dimensional image that we see on the storyboard into one that works in three dimensions in the computer. And that takes a lot more redesign than it looks at, at first glance, because we had to build the robot and her environment in pieces. It means everything from the smallest finger joint to the torso to the neck, to the body parts, the leg, the arm, 18 pieces had to be put together and created for the computer. This entire image really never existed outside the computer itself. And so you chose on, a, instead of the helmet, to just kind of go with one, one piece, sort of, it looks yeah. a little more like almost Egyptian. Yeah, it, well the thing with that is, in order to, to, to get this type of a, a helmet on, it has to be back on the head and tilted. And it's like when you do that here, it looks like a woman sitting under a hair dryer. Once we had the design, we used a foam mannequin to give real shape to the robot. The foam was sliced into cross sections and each outline was then programmed and fed digitally into the computer and stored as information. Hey, how's that? That's pretty good. Um, okay, now the bottom lip looks a little thick. Maybe we should you take... Want me to translate them all up a little? Yeah, what, maybe from like 25 to 34 or something. Okay, well, I think that looks better. It has to be something where you really can't tell if she's real or if she's computerized. Her movements are very human and she's very sexy but very strong. And you really, you've got to believe it's a human being yet it isn't quite. It just couldn't be with the way, the look of her body. The biggest unknown was making her move and bringing her to life. Randy invented a technique he called brute force animation. We filmed a live model and programmed her choreographed movements into the computer. The computer tracked reference points painted on her body and created a stick figure animation which we call a vector graphic. The emotion is all set up hierarchical so that wherever we move her torso, her arms all go with it in addition to the motion of the body so that it has more of the characteristics of the way her body motion is, the way it accelerates and decelerates and the way it holds at the right places and when things start and stop. Once we got the motion right, we used raster graphics to give the image form and color. The robot, her movements, the details, each reflection, the magic she does with the food, getting all of that into an environment and then adding Jupiter into the picture window well, that's millions of bits of information that the computer has to chew through. If you can imagine, each picture of film, which is a 24th of a second, takes 10,000 or 20,000 add, multiply, subtracts, divides. And on top of this, we're writing new software on a daily basis to speed this up. You get an idea that we're combining some science and technology with the ultimate in improvisation. Uh, what happened here? What, is this her reflection? That's, that's before the reflection uh, program was fixed. OK, so this is a composite frame that we've already in the last month, we put three computers online around the clock to ensure the fact that we'd make that Super Bowl due date. Because we could output directly to one-inch videotape, 
We could literally take images off the computer and hand carry them to the edit session in stages. Well, the thing that holds up is the joints. That's why this was... Naturally, we're incredibly proud of the results. But you get so close to, a, to an actor or to a performance, or in this case, to our friend that we called Sexy Robot, that we and the Catchem Advertising Group just held our breath as we showed it to the client. Even in the year 3000, the question will be, what's for dinner? The answer will be in a package that saves energy, nutrients, and trouble. A package that can last the three-year journey to Jupiter and back and back and back. Even in the year 3000, we see the brilliance of food in cans. God, you know, the wonderful thing about it is the, 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 the human way that she moves. And uh, it's very smooth, very, very, very fluid. If somebody says, on Sunday evening, the 20th of January, who won the Super Bowl? And they say, I don't know, but I saw this 30-second commercial. <laughs> then we know we then got it. Then you know it. you've really achieved Absolutely. something. Absolutely. You bet.